Select a polymesh 3D then hit edit. Go to initialize then hit Q cube. You can transform and scale the cube to anything you like. There's more transform options when you click the small gear on the left. Go back to draw and select the Z modeler brush. Select your edge, then right click and select bevel with edge loop complete then start dragging edges to bevel. Hold Alt and drag on polys you want, then right click. Select the transpose with polygroup island so you can transform it. Don't forget to hold Ctrl then left mouse drag outside the object to remove the mask. Go to geometry then divide it to at least 6 times. Then select dynamic trim brush to create rock details. Pick a color you want, then go to color tab on your upper left, then click fill object. Select paintbrush then draw a poly paint on the boulder.
Next, select Dam Standard Brush to add cracks and cuts. Go to plugin then UV master then work on clone. Hold control and left click drag on the boulder. Next, hold shift then click W to polygroup the whole area. Then mask the other half then hold shift W to polygroup the other half. When you're done, go back to UV master, click the polygroup tab then unwrap. When it's done, click on flatten to see the UV, copy the U versus then select the original boulder then go to UV master and paste the copied UV map. Next, let's export texture map and normal maps. Go to texture map and hit create, then new from polypaint. Clone texture then go to texture to flip, then export. Go to lowest subdivision, then go to normal map and hit create normal map. Don't forget to flip it again before exporting. Export it as OBJ and now can be used on games or 3D animation. Don't forget to subscribe.